it's truly a blessing. Um, I'm very happy that I'm sticking around the Carolinas. I love it here. And, you know, I think we have a bright future ahead of us. So I'm, I'm excited that I can be part of it. Taylor, I know that getting it done kind of came down to the wire. What, what, what was your involvement? Did they just tell you when it was done? Or what was that day kind of like for you? Yeah, the decision came down pretty last minute. But I knew in the back of my mind that, you know, the Carolinas were one to stick around. And the deal was wonderful. So um, uh, it was just a, it turned into a no-brainer for me to stick around the Carolinas. Because, like I said before, I love it here. and. I'm just excited to be part of something that I think could be special. I know when you talk during minicamp, you kind of let your agent handle a lot of that. As the process dwindled down, did you get more involved and say, hey, I want to get this done? I mean, ultimately, I did get more involved um, after OTAs and <clears throat> chatted more with my agent about it. But, you know, I, I think I have, you know, one of the best teams in the, in the NFL, and I full wholeheartedly believed in him and them. And, uh, I just knew that my job was football and his job was the other side of it. So I just stuck to what uh, my model was since I got in the league, was just keep controlling what I control and let the rest of it handle itself for the most part. So. Taylor, do you know what the plan is moving forward? Are they going to keep you right tackle? Are they going to move you left tackle? Do you have any idea what the plan is? Hey, I'm ready for wherever the, um, the coach puts me, just like my rookie year. You know, coming in, I don't know where they might put me or where they want me, but I'll be as ready as I possibly can be, wherever that may be. Is there any expectation that you might get reps on the left side like you did in spring? Well, I guess we'll see. I'm ready if the opportunity um, presents itself. Taylor, what makes you think this is one of the best teams in the NFL after you went 5-11 and 11 the last two years? Well, I think we have something special because, you know, uh, the tremendous players we have, the chemistry we're building, the, uh, the coaching staff, the uh, – <coughs> The, the culture that we're building here. So I think it's something truly special. So. I think one of the concerns heading into this season was the left side of the offensive line. Why do you think that may not be the case if you don't think that's the case? Well, I'm sorry. I think one of the worries going into the season was the left side of the offensive line. Why do you think that might not be the case if you think that? Well, however the uh, the chips may fall, I believe in our room, in our O-line room, and however the starting five pan out, I believe it's gonna, you know, we're gonna be a great unit, and I'm gonna just play my part and do what I can to help us be the best unit that we possibly can be. So. What is it like for you guys to be back here at Wofford, and what kind of added benefit is it to have this time together in the dorms? It's a, uh, it's kind of a trip down memory lane a little bit since we missed it last year, but um, yeah, I'm, I'm excited to get to work and you know finally put the pads on, the helmet on, and um, you know just just get after it again. So, so how do you like describe the? How do you describe the Wofford experience to guys that are just coming in that were maybe asking you about it as you? As uh, you it's different. Like, <clears throat> I guess just tell them, make sure they're hydrated, make sure they're ready to go. Because, you know, if you've been down here, Spartanburg gets hot. So um, just make sure you're ready for the practice. Make sure you're tuned in for the long days. But, I mean, like, they went through it in college, right? Maybe not as long as it is in the NFL. But, you know, you, you get a taste of that camp life. So, um, I just tell them just focus on just being the best version of yourself you can be and just be coachable and just, you know, come in and be as consistent as you possibly can be every day, day in and day out. Just find little things you can, you know, work on because the little details can turn into big details at the end of the day. What will it be like Saturday night to have the fans back watching you guys cheering for you at practice after not having that a year ago? I'm fired up about it. It's going to be awesome to see Panther Nation full force come that Saturday. So I know we're or Friday rather. I know we're all excited about it. During those six weeks between minicamp and today, did you, I'm assuming you did some workouts, did you kind of work steps on the left side? Mm -hmm. I just I went back to like my uh, first couple of years when I didn't know why I was playing, and I just told myself I want to be as prepared as I possibly can be. On either side of the line, shoot, Matt goes out. I'll be ready to snap the ball if I need to. You know, Taylor, you, you, you know, what did those, you know, what did those look like? What, how, how is that different than when you were training specifically for Rice? It's different. Um, well, I don't know. Like in the back of my mind, I always tried to be ready for wherever I possibly could be. Obviously, that opportunity might present itself a little more now left because in the past years, whatever happened, they kept me right. Um, but it's just, like I said, it's just feeling more and more comfortable just repping it out day in and day out until 
you know, you just feel like you got it down. And you can only do so much on air. It's going to come down to when you got, you know, like a real NFL pass rush in front of you until you get, like, the real feeling down of it and after, get comfortable. After last year not having OTA's minicamp, how much more prepared do you feel for this phase of the offseason as opposed to last year where you really only had that little bit before the season to really well, prepare? I think it was good to have OTA's get some live reps out there for practice. Um, but, you know, I just did everything I could to be as prepared as I can be, just like every season, no matter what the situation is. When you said it was kind of last minute on the contract, that deadline was 4 o'clock. How last minute was it? When did you know this was getting taken care of? I think we got that deal done maybe 10 to 15 minutes before the deadline. Mm -hmm. It was, it, yeah, it came down really close to why. What was that like for you? I mean, are you texting back and forth with agent or? Yeah, I was on the phone with him, yeah. and you know, they were talk. He was talking to the Panthers, and um, yeah, it was a it was a whirlwind of a day for sure. But like I said, I'm just happy that I got it done. I can just stick around to Carolinas. Well, you've uh, played with a lot of different quarterbacks over the last few years. What have you seen in Sam Darnold to suggest he's a, a good leader? I think he's a tremendous leader. I think that I, I, I love his poise. I love how he carries himself around the building, the way he attacks the day. And, um, you know, um, I'm excited that he's on the team and I have the opportunity to be protecting him. Any one thing he's done, though, that, that stands out as far as leadership that, in the middle? It's a culmination of a lot of stuff. It's hard to just pinpoint one, honestly. But if I think of something, I'll let you know. <laughs> you been able to hang out with Sam at all just in the offseason besides those years? Yeah, a little bit here and there. Yeah, he seems like a great guy. You know, um, like I said, level-headed, cool. Uh, you know, uh, good temperament to him. Uh, Your early impressions on Cam Irving? Cam Irving? Oh, I think he's a, I think he's a good player. I think um, great guy. Happy that you know, like I said happy he's on the team too. I think he's someone that could really help us out and <clears throat> be a big part of, uh, of the O line unit. Taylor, what would it mean if uh, Christian McCaffrey can stay healthy this season for this team? It means a lot. You know, obviously he's one of the, if not the best running back in the game. So. Really, really excited to have him back, and I'm gonna do everything I can to keep him as healthy as he can be. So, yeah, but I'm, I'm fired up to have him back. I know we all are. Are you comfortable with all the protocols that you have to go through, you know, heading into camp? Um, yeah, I'm. I don't have any problems with it. You know, I got my vaccine done, so that obviously makes things a little smoother, a little, a little bit closer to back to normal. So I, I don't have any problems. Been any frustration among the players that? protocols sort of seem to keep switching around and now there's talk that even though you're vaccinated you might face more frequent testing. It's hard for me to speak on the other players and what they're thinking but I know personally I, I'm, I don't have a problem with what's going on you know like I said getting the vaccine makes things a little easier makes it a little more back to normal. How was it important for you to do that and, and were there discussions among the team about that? Yeah, I know y'all have a high rate like 90 percent or something. Yeah, well, for me personally, I just knew that um, it was going to be a lot smoother going through the season. I was going to be able to do more. I'm not holding the team back in any way. And also from like a family aspect, I feel like it's a, another layer to keep my family safe, you know, especially the older, the older people in the family. What's your one training camp must have? Oh, it changes through the years. I mean, I, I said it my rookie, I'll say again, I guess the playbook. You got to know what you're doing when you got on that field. Taylor, this is more of a rookie contract type question, but you signed a big extension like that. Did you make a, a purchase after that deal comes through? Um, well, I bought some land out in uh, the Steel Creek area. Okay. So, you know, <clears throat> I'm already in the works with that house. I guess that's not really the first big purchase from since the extension, but I guess it's close enough. <laughs> so you're build, building a new property for you? Yeah. Yep. Were you holding off on that until you got the deal done? Uh, I bought the land because it, you know, I got it cheap. But um, it might be a few, few extra additions to it now. So it is. Have y'all started construction yet? No, not yet, not yet. You know, blueprints still in the works. But you know, I'm just working, worried about football now. You know, I'm a camp that's full football mode. Taylor, is it kind of nice to have that done and out of the way? The contract, know that like, is it comfortable knowing that they wanted to invest that in you, like going into like. After dealing with that in OTAs and mini camp, like how does that feel now to get that done? Yeah, it meant a lot. You know, I really do appreciate this football team believing in me and you know organizations, and um, I'm just happy. All I, you know, all I'm worried about now is just being the best version of Taylor Moen I can be, and doing my part in bringing a ring back, you know, ring to the Carolinas. So.
there's an obvious sense of relief when you get that contract done, but is there any added pressure when you're one of the highest paid offensive linemen in the league? Yeah, you know, there's definitely some pressure, but, you know, I recall someone said pres pressure is a privilege, you know, so, I mean, I, I took that to heart. I had to step back and really understand that quote and realize, you know, I'm in a blessed situation. And, you know, I just, <clears throat> I've learned there's a difference between pressure and stress. So when, so stress is when you go out there and you're not prepared, you haven't done everything you can to um, you know, be prepared in that moment. But when you have pressure, you've done everything, you put in all the work up to the, you know, event in, in hand. And at that point, it's just going out there and, and performing and doing what you've been doing because you have that confidence. You know, you're, you have that confidence knowing that no one can beat you if you're at your best, but you have the humbleness to know that if you're not, you know, on your game, anyone can beat you. So, you're a pretty hey, calm you... guy. When was the last time you felt stress like that? Stress? Yeah. <laughs> um, shoot, it's, it's been a while because, you know, football, I just I feel like it's more of a pressure. Than, than a stressor because of how much I prepare for it. You know, stress might be some stuff outside of football. You know, like maybe building this house. I don't know, that was a little stressful. <laughs> I think I, I want to do that. Price of lumber is going up. Price of lumber is going up. That's a bit stressful. Yep. To say the least. Yeah. And what have you learned about Matt Rule over the last year that um, has impressed you? And what do you feel like having you guys here for this kind of experience is going to mm -hmm. make him even? Yeah, he's a lead coach. I'm, you know, happy to be <coughs> working under him, and I'm glad he's he's a leader going ahead. And I, you know, I, I love the uh, the philosophies he's preaching, and you know, ultimately, I, I think we have a great team of guys. You know, both of the coaches and the players. So I'm excited to be be part of the group.